Hi, I'm Jonathan with Fire Kitchen Fires Limited, and I'm here today to talk to you about the fire triangle, the fire tetrahedron, what they are, and why it matters. Let's begin. The fire triangle, as many of us remember, is made up of three components, fuel, heat, and oxygen. We learned that you need all three components to have fire, and we also learned that in order to extinguish fire, you need to remove one of those components. Well, over the last few years, it was found that there's a fourth component, and that's the uninhibited chain reaction, which is where the fire tetrahedron comes in. The fire tetrahedron is made up of the four components, the original three, fuel, heat, and oxygen, and the new fourth one, uninhibited chain reaction. So take a second and imagine this, where the fire triangle is a two-dimensional object with the three components, then the fire tetrahedron is a three-dimensional object with four components, or it's a pyramid. It's a 3D triangle. All right, why does that matter? Well, it matters the same as the fire triangle because by removing any one of those components, you can't extinguish a fire. Now, when we talk about classes of fire, it does matter how you extinguish it and what you use and how each component is removed for the classifier, but that's a video for a different day. Today, I'll tell you about prevention. In order to prevent a fire, you need to remove one of those components, whether it's grease buildup or wood piles or rags accumulated on the floor, that's all fuel for the fire. In order to prevent a fire, you can remove those or dispose of them properly. You can also remove oxygen, things like oxygen bottles or any chemical that oxidizes, that creates oxygen. By eliminating that, then you eliminated one of the components for fire. Now, there is oxygen around us. There's oxygen in the air. However, by eliminating the additional oxygen, you can also avoid a more intense fire. And the last one, heat. If you eliminate heat via the source, whether it's a radiator, whether it's the sunlight, whether it's an actual flame, uh, anything that creates heat, eliminating that component also helps with preventing fire. Now, by de facto, eliminating any one of those three components, you also avoid the chemical reaction with few exceptions. The exception that comes to mind is spontaneous combustion. That's a video for a different day, but just know that spontaneous combustion is a chemical reaction that happens when some of those components mix together over a long period of time and then create its own heat, thus fire. And that brings us to a close. Today we went over the fire triangle and the fire tetrahedron, what they were, and why they were important in fire prevention. I hope you learned something today. And if you like the video, like, subscribe, share. I'll be putting out some more and going over some of the other things that we talked about that were for a later time. Until next time, see ya.